this is May, it's been wretched so far, but this is encouraging. And a lot of my songs are, are, are season driven. When I look at a song, when, I, when I've got a tune, and the answer is do the tune, does the tune come before the, the words, or the words come before the tunes? In nearly every case, I put words to tune. Um, that it's rare that um, to, to do it otherwise, but I believe Elton John usually leafs through a pile of, of Bernie Taupin's lyrics, and then he picks one that he likes, and he and he writes the music to the words. And um, Andy Partridge from XTC, who I worked with, uh, can do either. Can do both or either. He he once suggested to me that I had a go at doing. Um, tune to words but it really didn't suit me at all because usually the tune is what drives the sentiment and the feel of the song and very often it's seasonal now i, I live in in england where we have four clear seasons although a lot of the climate uh, change people who uh, i am one of them that think the seasons are melting into each other they really aren't that much. You do get four seasons a year, and they are quite distinct from each other. They sometimes happen at different times. But I generally, when I get a tune, I'm thinking, where am, where are we now? Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? Is it spring? Is it summer? Is it autumn? Or is it winter? What is the feeling of this song? Uh, actually, Andy Partridge wrote a really good quatrain um, about the seasons. And, you know, I can't even remember what it was, but it was... Uh, where it came from, I think it might have been on non such. It was, or, or, I don't, I don't remember now. But it is, autumn is royal, as spring is clown, to repaint summer. They're closing winter down. That is very, very clever. I have spoken to Andy Partridge because I had a job as a poet when I was working with him as well. I was actually working as a poet, and I said, you know, do you ever write poetry? And he kind of goes. No, no, not really. I said, Andrew, you, you know, your lyrics are really good. I, I would envy, and I, I'm supposed to be a hot shot at the words, but I, I would envy some of his ideas. He's, he's very poetic, and um, I think he's quite seasonal right now, although you would be surprised. When I met Andy, because he'd written Love on a Farm Boy's Wages, which is a very rural Victorian idea of West Country labourers, I just assumed he was a country lad and it would be you know, doing a bit of work. We only ever walked around the park with his dog, Charlie. And that, and actually, it was I who, who had roamed all over the place and done rough jobs and dug ditches for people and things like that. Because I, I did some pruning for him when he, 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 he it was <laughs> the most dramatic it got in Andy's small garden, which is mostly taken up by recording shed, is um, that a, a, a quince japonica got a bit out of hand on his pergola after his wife had gone. And I said, oh, I could do that. And he said, how would you do that? I said, well, I'd need a chair or a ladder to stand on. So I was on this tiny step ladder with a, have you got some secateurs? So, I'm, I'm, so Andy's mixing down the drums and I'm on, on this uh, small step ladder. So he said, <laughs> sort of pruning his rose and he came out for a bit. He said, will you be all right up there? And I looked down the sort of four steps or steps. and said, yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. And he said, are you sure about this, Martin? And I said, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a gardener, this is nothing, I'm just pruning a bit of quince japonica, you know? But um, I was really surprised to find that, because I just thought he was very versed in, in country matters. I think he'd read a lot about them, but he, he wasn't really, and, and I was, but didn't always feel them interesting to, to write about. But anyway, songwriting, yes, it can be very seasonal, and you should look at a tune and think, what season are we in for start? Are we talking about love? Are we talking about sociology here? Are we talking about, you know, what story, are we telling a story? And always, I mean, my default setting, is, as most players fans will know, is autumn. I, I am Mr. Autumn. I don't need to be asked twice to easily jump into autumn and start remembering, you know, people who've died, people who've left me, stuff, you know, tragic streets that were once beautiful. You know, that's my stock in trade. But occasionally, like Kimberly Roo, I will have a go at writing a really good springy kind of, yeah. We're going down the street, it's a great day, I've just been paid and I'm meeting a girl tonight, type of song, because they are the ones that do the business. But yeah, think season when you get tuned. What season are we in? Ask yourself that.